we have an exciting topic to delve into the most powerful sorting algorithm out there tim sort by the end of this video you will have a solid understanding of how tim sort works and why it's considered a game changer in the world of sorting algorithms so what is tim sort well tim sort is a hybrid sorting algorithm which means it combines the strengths of different sorting techniques to achieve optimal performance it was designed to address some of the inefficiencies found in other popular sorting algorithms such as quick sort and merge sort by the way the default sorting algorithm used by python sorted and list.sort functions is tim sort tim sort gets its name from its creator tim peters a python software developer he designed this algorithm to be exceptionally efficient for real world data and optimize it for the common scenarios we encounter in programming now let's get into the nitty gritty of how tim sort actually works it can be broken down into several key steps which make it highly efficient for sorting data the main idea behind tim sort is to exploit the existing order in the data to minimize the number of comparisons and swaps it achieves this by dividing the array into small sub arrays called runs which are already sorted and then merging these runs using a modified merge sort algorithm let's understand its working with an example we have an array of 9 elements 4 2 8 6 1 5 9 3 & 7 step 1 is to define the size of a run a run is just a small sub array of our array we will ignore this step because our array is small but for example when we set min size of run to 32 it means when we encounter an array whose size is at least greater than the minimum size we are good to move else if the size of the array is less than the defined min size we put insertion sort into play step 2 you may remember that insertion sort is effective for two types of arrays small array and the array which has been already been sorted what we just made is a small sorted array which is effective for insertion sort if the array isn't at least the minimum size length we reach ahead and grab enough elements to complete the run of course we cannot use this for our example as it is small but in large data set this is what tim sort does step 3 once we have divided our array into runs and sorted those runs using insertion sort we merge those runs back together using merge sort that's it we will have our sorted array this is theory now let's apply this to our example step 1 was to define the min size but it is irrelevant to our example as it is small enough so let's simply define min size to be 32 because insertion sort is effective for up to 64 elements in the array step 2 was to divide the array into runs and apply insertion sort to the runs here our example is small so we cannot divide it so we have a single run that is our original array so insertion sort sorts our array to form a sorted run 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 step 3 was to merge the runs but we have a single run so we cannot merge it and hence our array is sorted you might feel that i am cheating by taking small array less than 32 elements the criteria of this video was to uncover the working of tim sort we have showed you the steps how tim sort works use those steps create your own array of 64 elements and apply those steps to the array you will get a sorted array so with that in mind let's look at its implementation we have already implemented the headers and the required helper functions like min insertion sort merge and print array functions the first step was to define the minimum size of the run i have defined it to be 32 in the main function we declare a variable n which is the size of the array and then we create the array which holds the elements to be sorted for the testing purposes i just allocate random elements to the array then for testing we just print the array before it is sorted then i apply tim sort after applying the tim sort i just print the array after sorting that is i print the sorted array let's look at how tim sort works tim sort takes two arguments array and the size of the array this array is the array to be sorted tim sort applies the step 2 that is it divides the array into runs and apply insertion sort here you can see it divides the array up to the minimum size that is 32 then it applies insertion sort to all the runs after applying the insertion sort it merges the sorted array that is it is the step 3 step 3 is to 
merge the sorted runs. Here as you can see it starts from the minimum size that is 32. It runs a for loop and it merges all the sorted runs. You can see the code. It merges the sorted runs by using a modified merge sort. Basically this is the code for the implementation. The best case complexity of team sort is big O of n. The average and worst case complexity is big O of n log n. Team sort is a stable and not an in-place sorting algorithm. So why should you care about team sort? Well, there are several advantages to using this algorithm. Team sort's hybrid approach makes it exceptionally fast and efficient for a wide range of data distributions. It's great for both small and large data sets. It's a stable sorting algorithm, meaning that it preserves the relative order of equal elements, which is crucial in various applications. TeamSort is used extensively in many programming languages and libraries including Python and Java because of its practicality and efficiency. And there you have it, a comprehensive overview of TeamSort, a sorting algorithm designed to tackle real-world data efficiently. Whether you are a programmer or just curious about the magic happening behind the scenes, TeamSort is a fascinating algorithm to explore. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content on computer science and programming. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Congratulations and signing out.